So hello guys, let's uh, start the screen. So yeah, so in the last class we made a pawn game, a two player, two, two player. It was a multiplayer game. So today we'll be doing a few changes. Let's wait for few more minutes. Let's see if anybody joins. So two three minutes we we'll wait and then we'll continue. Okay. Sorry guys, my bad. Let's go for two to three minutes. Okay guys, let's start. Let's first revise what we have done in the last class. So in the last class we have made two we have made two sprites, paddle sprites, and then we have made, uh, made our ball. We have given the two sprites and if condition to move on key down the buttons. Today we are going to make a divider in between them. A divider. Okay. So we will be calling a new function today that is line. It is a like draw, it's a drawing material. You can see here we have drawing, right? So we will be learning line today. See the line. And to call that line, we will make a new function because line is like a straight stretched one. But we want to achieve a dotted line, okay? So we will call several lines for that. Uh, but making several lines will be too big. First, let's try to call a line, okay? So let's see the output when we call a line. Let's see. In function draw. Let's pull that line here. Okay, it already has some preset values. See, look at that. It's so big, right? Let's change it to 200 and 200. Now uh, let's see. Okay, that's the size. Sorry. Uh, it's going to be 0 only. We have to change this position probably. Let's change the field. Okay, not that. <laughs> let's change the by x1 200. Let's reset them. There we go. We got a straight line, right? We got a straight line. But look at the ball though. The ball is just going out of the way when we are running it, right? So what do we do is let's give an if if function, okay? When the right arrow key is pressed, it should go to the right side. It should start moving, okay? Let's take out its initial velocity. Let's make it zero its initial velocity so that it doesn't move anywhere so if function if wait one second and step uh key down right arrow okay so we can just give it right then we have to open our curly brackets enter in them and let's just paste that over. Let's run it. See, it's stable. And when I click the right arrow, it starts functioning. See, it's stable. I click the right arrow. <laughs> let's try again. Right arrow. Go. See, isn't that nice? Okay. So that line is straight. But we want to achieve 
many lines you know like dotted line we, we need a dotted line which is too small we can't give so many lines right that would be a whole lot of messy code <laughs> so what we will do is today we will be writing a for loop it's a loop what is a loop it uh, the loop is it runs the same instructions without repeating the code like we, we don't need to report the, repeat the code line 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 10 lines for a dot line we can just give one line and then give a for loop you see that's that simple so let's see what's a for loop okay it's a control see for loop we can see here let's call it out let me just check this screen okay no problem let's so we have our for loop now let's start it okay yeah hmm. Come before the if functions. We don't want to mess with the if functions here. So let's just pull out our for loop from there. Put it here. Yeah, there we go. So it will give it will give it uh it will give a constant variable i for everything. Like this is a variable called i, and we have to give it. Let's name it number. N U M. Okay, and let's put it as zero only. Here we are giving an if function, but it is like a loop, you know, like var number and if. Now it's like an if function. For loop has if function in it. Here it is if, like n u m. If it is greater than 400, that is how the computer takes it. And number equals two. Number like we we want to name it num now <laughs> we can change it if we want number equals to what do we give think about it so we want to repeat it right once it is called we don't want to call it again after uh, 20 20 so number plus 20 let me just explain you what we did again we made a variable number we have given it zero we have given it number should not be more than zero. That is, if number is greater than zero, stop it. 400, stop it. That number should not, should not be greater than, should be less than zero. Okay. And then we have given the other one. Number will be number plus 20. So that means after every 20 line, every 20 grid, whatever we call it, space, it will change. After every 20 pixels, it will change itself. Like there's a line here, 20 gap, and then again a line. We will get a dotted line like that. So inside, we'll call a line function, line, uh, line drawing. Okay, line, open, close. So here comes the twist. X1 will be 200, but we want to change the y position, the height, of course, right? It will be number, n u m comma what should we give uh, let's see what should we give let's give it 200 only x by x we want x straight right of course and then here it's number plus 20 so let's see number is 0 plus 20 it's 20 20 y that is height is 20 let's reset and try to run oh wait what happened why isn't it running yet Yes, we have given everything required, right? Um, let's see, reset and run. Oh, wait, we forgot to remove the line over here. Okay, reset and run. Oh, what's the problem still? Control X. We'll create it before we have created X sprites. What's happening? What's the problem? Let me just check it out, guys. Let me see what's the problem we didn't miss anything. Oh, wait, one minute. So, to draw any drawing item, we have to call an another function. To draw sprites, we have called draw sprite, right? To display our sprites, we have called draw sprites. 
and to display our drawings we have to give draw net open close now let's check it we set and run hey we can't figure out what is draw net okay 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 it is not able to figure out what is draw net so let's just make our own function okay we'll name it draw net we'll name it okay we'll make this draw net function right where is this function draw ending it has no ending let's close it function draw is the thing this is the yeah 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 let me just check guys one minute Let's mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, reset and run. Yeah, for now. Okay, we already have it at seventy-four. Let's just take it out first. Let's do this one. Delete, delete, delete. Let's make our own function. Okay, we'll call it draw line. Okay, that's nice. Right? Oh, I came up with the idea so fast. Function. It's a new function. Okay, uh, everybody, concentrate here because this is very important when you are making a new function or when you want to make a new function for yourself. Okay, draw net, draw line. Enter okay? and let's give it. Let's call it inside our draw net. Let's make our for loop. Appear when we call the draw net function. Okay, it, we want to display it when we call the draw line function. Everybody understood, right? Yeah. So now let's see what happens. Open, close. Now let's look at it. Oh, I zoomed in. Sorry. I zoomed in. After we have drawn this first, draw net. Oh, it's not draw it. It's draw line. <laughs> Sorry, draw line. What's happening? Okay, draw line. Wait, where is the dotted line? I'm not able to see that. What is the problem? Let me just check it, guys. No, there is no problem on this. Um. There is no problem with our code. Let's just try to change our number value. Okay. Oh, eight. Okay, we made a very big mistake here. So, 400 is easily divisible by 20. So we have made 20. Like we have made 20, 20 times. Okay. See, let's just count these. Okay. This will appear 20 times on a 400 grid. If we give 10, then it will appear only how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20 times only. But it will have gaps, those extra. But when we give 20 times, see number plus 20. We have or asked it to draw 20 lines. Let's try. But we have given the x as 10 height, 20 height. So it will have no variation, right? So let's see. Let's give it as 10 lines. And then 20 height. Now we'll be able to see the net again, right? But okay, it's just adjusting itself in the middle. So let's just put it as 20 and 10. Yeah, you can experiment with it if you want. So yes, now let's try to move our ball. See, the center is visible clearly now. So now what we'll do is. Our ball is going out every time, right? Our ball is going out every time. Like when we miss it, it just goes out. Mm, so what should we do? What should we do? Mm, we can have a reset function, right? We can have a reset function. We can have a reset function. That is, um, the ball will automatically come out, come back when we call the reset a reset function. Let's see. So now we will make another if which is connected with the function. Okay, nice, right? Let's do this. Function reset. Okay, 
Open, close, open, close, enter. So what do we want in the function reset? Okay. So we want the ball to be at 200. The x should be 200. It should be back to 200. And the y should also be back to 200. And the velocity should be 0. That is, it should totally reset. Right. So let's see. Ball dot position. It's position. No, it's not position. Sorry. All right. Equals to one second. Two hundred. Just the space in between so that it looks pretty. Ball dot x equals to two hundred. Okay. Now it's in the center right now. Enter ball dot velocity x. Oh, wait, we didn't give it anything. Zero. Enter ball dot velocity y equals to zero. So let's run it. Let's pause this function for now. Reset and run. Continue. See? It doesn't come back because we didn't call it but just look at this we'll call it okay we'll call it like we did for the net okay let's call it here function with this reset open and close and then let's see let's run now it doesn't move why can anybody tell me why see i'm pressing the right arrow i don't know if you are able to hear it but it is not moving because this is a permanent function. So what should we do? We have to give an if function. Let's see. So let's write an if function here. If loop. If. If. Ball. Dot. Y. Equals to. Equals to or greater than. 400 comma sorry or so yeah so now we'll be using some math functions here this is or this is less than or equals to this is greater than or equals to okay i have called it wrong <laughs> it's greater than or equals to wait, 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 wait equals to and or should we give or it's odd because anyway it should come out. Okay. Ball dot x equals to sorry, one second. Greater than equals to 400. Or see, we have done it for the right side, but for the left side, who will do it? And we should also do it for the above part, like the above. We have done it to the right and bottom edge. We have to do it for the top and left edge. So let's see, ball dot y is less than or equals to, one second, less than or equals to zero because this way is it's zero. Or ball dot, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, x, right, yeah, x equals to, sorry, lesser than or equals to zero. Oh, this is a big one. Right, enter. Now we have to call our reset function. Understand, everybody? See, this is how we link that if and this. Let's just take out the reset. Reset and run. See, now let's just leave it. See, it's back to its position. Look, now run. I clicked it once. My hands are in the air. It's back in normal. Clicked it. Again, my hands are in the air. See, we have made a reset function. Isn't that awesome, people? Right? Nice, right? Let's do another one. Let's do, what should we do next? Mm. So, we have teached it how to serve and reset. Right, and we have also 
written a we have also drawn a line in between so that it shows space right the space will be more clear this is the right end that is the left end so let's just review our code what we have done today so first we have make it made two parts our graph into two parts by using the for loop and we have made a specific function for it for var number we have made a variable number to store the data of the line we have given that zero and then we have given it mem op oh, op oh, op oh. sorry 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 wait a moment uh, yeah 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 um, now this reset function by mistake let's just pull it out yes so very we have made a variable number equals to zero for now and we have also given that number should be always lesser than 400 in any ways of the graph it should always be lesser than 400 and when number is called anywhere it should be number plus 20 every time like now number plus 20 will be 20 let's take number is 0 0 equals to 0 plus 20 will become 20 but again because it's 20 it will become 20 plus 20 40 40 plus 20 60 60 plus 20 it will keep adding up the 20 okay so then we have created the line here we have called, we have made it create create a line after every 20 graph okay like if it starts here i'll just zoom it in for you people if it starts here after 20 another line after 20 another line 20 another line so that is how it has created so today we made a big mistake by giving the number of lines and the number and the lines length the same which made it a whole script so and then we have rectified it by giving it only 10 that is half of it now if i give 5 it will become more smaller let's try that out too okay see see they are more smaller they are now dots now let's try to give it a uh, 1 let's see how small dots will be see it's just a dotted line <laughs> let's just change it back to 10 and we have given the x position x1 that is the top one is 200 x2 next is x, y1 that is the starting point and then that's x2 which is the end point and then there is y2 which is the end point of the height understood people yes nice next we have made a function reset for our ball which gave which which makes it get back to its position when it is out of the map and what did we do we have given the positions for it we have given the coordinates and then we have given the velocity and then we have made an if function saying if the ball is greater than 400 go a ball is going out of 400 at y that is bottom edge if it goes out of the bottom edge then what happens it resets or or, um, or makes it like uh, if any of these things happen then this should happen or is like uh, what do you say a replacer kind of thing if this doesn't is, um, let's take an example now the ball is not going downwards it went upwards okay so upwards that is ball dot y so if there is not if one function if one of these statements is false it may it tries all of the functions all of the functions here all of the statements whatever we have given there it will try out all of them if none of them is true it will be continuing to move see now we have stopped it from moving so it is continue to move it is continuing to move right and then what did we give yet next but what if we leave it what if we make it run away see it's going out see since the right edge, since it's out of the right edge, it will call itself, oh, this is happening. So that is true. I have to go back. So it will go back to the starting position. So that is how simple it is, people. Today, this much only we are learning. Okay, then. Thank you. I'll be ending the screen. If anybody has any comments, you can type it in the chat box. I'm ending the screen right now. Thank you so much for attending the class.